We are here today in uh, Sunset Crest, uh, St. James Barbados, uh, which is in the West Coast, doing an update of our uh, condo that we have for rent here, um, which um, last time we did an update on this was in May 2016, but we have done a bunch of upgrades to the condo and uh, every once in every few years we try to freshen things up a little bit and give a give our prospective guests and visitors to the area a view of what what the area looks like now currently and as we are in January of 2018 we're taking the opportunity to update once again and as you'll be able to see I've had the uh, camera on the main road which is the main beach road that travels up the west coast of Barbados essentially from Bridgetown all the way up to Spice Town and north of that uh, and we are here in what is called the Sunset Mall and um, next door to us here we uh, you can see there there is a uh, duty-free um, uh, Cape Shepherd store down the far end we have a, a CIBC First Caribbean International Bank and of course the world famous renowned Cheryl's Meals on Wheels that I've if you go on YouTube and check you will find that I have done a separate um, um, video just for her and her food and highly recommended but given that we're heading to the condo today um, what I will do is I will give you uh, an update here of how close she is to our condo and in the meantime what I will do is I will show you here to our left immediately across the street from our condo there is also a, a small grocery store here uh, that you know is good it's not a, quite a supermarket but good enough for all your basic staples we have a lovely place called Cafe Moya here that has uh, breakfast, lunches, ice cream, all the rest. Then we have a couple of uh, beauty shops, um, both the Beauty Mart and my salon. And then, of course, last but not least, we have the Italia Coffee House, which is directly across the street from our condo, which is, as you will see, just over here on the opposite, um, just in behind that white um, Toyota there and in the parking. And as you will see, we are actually at the corner of Flamboyant Avenue. And this road that I'm walking up from the, from the beach is actually called Mayho. Uh, but we are basically on Flamboyant. And as we head over, you will see um, we have, um, it's basically a six unit sort of uh, a condominium that's side by, with side by side units. We are here in number two, and as you will see, there is our own private parking spot. So if you rent a car or have your own or have friends visit, they can certainly park here. But overall, uh, by the way, before I move in, uh, this is Flamboyant Avenue here down the end. And just around the end, about halfway down, if you make the turn at the corner on the far end and keep going about an east equal distance, you get to the 24-hour medical clinic, uh, which is a very handy thing to have uh, at arm's distance, you know, uh, non-arms distance basically very close by not even a maybe a five minute walk but just in case for some medical emergency that's also very handy the supermarket is just past that another it's basically a 10 minute walk from here straight up north and it's a brand new supermarket uh, super massy store excellent uh, they they have everything uh, as good if not better than a lot of our own supermarkets back home However, we are here for the condo, so uh, without any further ado, uh, here we are now at our front gate. And as you'll be able to see, um, we have some nice French doors here that were re recently installed. There's some mosquito netting there, uh, a lovely sitting area outside here, as well as a um, little dining breakfast nook over here as well, which uh, very nice to hang out here in the morning. And of course, you can see at the back there, we have a little small uh, barbecue. You have to buy your own, of course. This is a self-catering condo, so you will have to provide most of your own supplies. But if you are prepared to get some briskets and, and so on, just all you have to do is wheel this up here to the front of our little garden. And as you can see, there is a little garden to our right side as well, going to, with our neighbors down the end here. Uh, but you just bring out the barbecue out here to the front, and you can barbecue at will. And uh, of course, we always have our Mr. Magoo here, who is our regular host, who has been here for years and years and years, and he'll always here to help and assist. And other than that, we are then at the entrance of the condo, and as you will see, I will push back the mesh. And you can now see inside the unit. And what we have here is we have a, a lovely seating area, very comfortable um, um, single seat couch seats 
We have a fold-down uh, two-bed two uh, couch. You just flip it back, and it will click into a double bed in case additional people uh, come and, and want to stay here as well. Uh, generally, this place is suitable for either two adults. Uh, a third adult could sleep in this uh, couch here as well, or in, in, in the past, we've always had, we have also had uh, family with young children, and then the two kids were able to sleep in this couch as well. Uh, we have here, as you will be able to see, we have radio, we have cable TV, um, we have games, we have books uh, for your reading pleasure, and um, fans all over. We also have a fan at the top here, so it's your choice. Uh, we have some beach games, we have chess sets, we have Monopoly game, cards, all the rest. Then inside there's a little dining uh, table area here if you want to just stay inside. There are a number of fans uh, available for use in the condo, and this one of these could be actually used outside as well. So if you want to, you know, cool down, if the front area here is too hot, you just take move one of these up to the patio area, set it up, and you're good to go and very comfortable. We've done that number of times. On the far end here, to our right, we have the fully equipped kitchen, and as you'll be see, as you'll be able to see, there is an electric uh, stove. Uh, it's fridge, there's a uh, microwave on top, there's a blender, there's coffee pot, there's a toaster. Uh, it's all fully equipped, dishes, knives, forks, etc. Uh, so very, uh, it's small, compact, but very convenient and handy. And we have some other uh, items there at the top. If you want to do some grilled panini sandwiches, there's a unit there for that as well. And otherwise, uh, it's panning around a little bit. Uh, you can see again the seating area, the relaxing, the relaxation area, um, and um, this is now we're facing out towards the condo, and this is what the front area looks like where we just came in. And then uh, as we continue our tour, we, uh, the the condo is now also has a one bedroom unit. Now the bedroom actually has air conditioning as well, but essentially it's only good for the bedroom, so it's nice to cool down the bedroom in the evenings before you go to bed. In the, we tend not to leave it on because it gets too, might get too cold at night, so we cool down the place a little bit before going to bed, and then it's comfortable for the whole night. There's a very large queen-size bed here, a very comfortable. There's a little vanity area here. We have a nice uh, big uh, you know, storage space, uh, hang up all your clothes, etc., etc. The air conditioning there. We have some, uh, you can see that we have security gates both in the front and in the back of the unit. So the whole place is very secure, very safe. And in addition to that, we have something new here that we didn't have in prior years, uh, installed last year, and that would be a washing machine. So if you were going, coming here for a little bit longer, uh, you'll not be able to do wash your own clothes, and then you can hang it out in the patio. There is an extendable uh, um, drying, drying cord there. And uh, very handy to have, especially if your stay is here for two weeks or longer and you might want to freshen up your clothes. Uh, we've got towels for guest use. We have change of sheets and so on. Um, if you do rent from us, we do provide a once a week cleaning and changing of all the linen and so on. Uh, and uh, of course, you're free to do more of your, of your own if you like. And then finally we have here, of course, the bathroom. And the bathroom is a single little unit, but it's very handy. It has all the necessities, as you'll be able to see. Um, and um, it's, fully it's pretty well tiled all around. We just got that done a few years ago. And as you'll be able to see, we also upgraded the shower unit. So we have a tremendous shower unit here as well, uh, with that rainfall type of thing at the top with the handheld unit and so on. Unfortunately, we don't have any tops, but otherwise, uh, very, very handy, very, very nice, and uh, we've gotten a lot of compliments for that. So as you can see, this is what we offer, and this is what our condo will look like if and when you decide to come and stay with us, and uh, we appreciate you taking the time and to, uh, to look over our unit, and um, I will leave an email at the end of this video for you to contact us if you might be interested in booking. Uh, you can also find us in uh, homeaway.com as well as at TripAdvisor or FlipKey. Uh, this unit is uh, listed for rent there as well. And uh, if you have any other questions, by all means, feel free to write, write us at the email at the end of this, of this um, video, and I'll be happy to try and help you. Even if you're not staying with us, I'll be happy to answer 
any questions you may have about your stay or about coming and visiting Barbados. Uh, we certainly love the place, so we're just as happy to be ambassadors for Barbados so that other people will enjoy it as much as we do. And on that note, I want to thank you once again for your um, taking the 10 minutes of your life uh, watching this and uh, look forward to seeing you here soon. Uh, there's Italia Coffee Shop across the street for those early morning cappuccinos. Um, have a great um, 2018 and until next time, bye for now.